I'm Jari from Exit Boxing, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about one little nuanced technical detail of what to do with your right knee when you set up the left hook. So as I learn from different coaches and as I watch different levels of fighters, I see many different things. And I'm not going to tell you what's right or wrong, but I'm going to say like, this is a technical thing that I think you should really feel for your body and decide what you have to do. And this is probably advanced technique. I think this kind of stuff matters more for fighters that have been doing it for many years. And what I mean is how your right knee moves when you throw, when you get into position for the left hook. So commonly when you're an amateur, they teach you to throw one twos, something like this. One, step in, two, lower the right knee and come in with the right hand. Okay, again, one, boom. You see my right knee? My right knee is doing this. Look at my right knee. It's collapsing, that's what I like to say. I like to say it collapses, it keeps the right hip down, it's grounded, it gives power. Right? But when I watch a lot of pros, I feel like they don't always do this. Sometimes they just leave the right knee right here. So they're just going like, one, two, right knee's right here, it's not down, it's here, and it helps them dig a left hook. So I'll just give you different positions so you can kind of see, one, Two, collapses, three, hook on top, or I don't collapse, one, two, and I stay up high, three, hook to the body. So it's just a different nuance. How is it gonna affect you? One, two, three, one, two, three. Depends what you wanna throw after. I like to think that if you, if you know that you're gonna be digging hard hooks to the body and that you wanna stand more flat, and more anchored, then you, you, you're gonna tend to like leave the right foot, just the right knee right where it is. Boom, 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 right? Whereas if you know that you're gonna be moving around a lot, like an, a lot of amateurs, they do like boom, and they, pip, they pivot out. You see, if I bring my knee in, I can pivot out easier, okay? Or if you're just so hyperactive that you like moving a lot, sure, I could go one, collapse, and then boom, I pivot both knees. You can see that I'm turning, Boom, 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 or boom, boom, boom. It's all up to you, but I think it's good to play with uh, when you're shadow boxing, when you're hitting the heavy bag, and something just to be consciously aware of. Do you want this right knee here? Like, what is it going to help you set up? Or do you want to just keep it here? Just to hold your trench, hold your ground, and just to be strong. Because when your right knee is here, I think it's easier to push opponents back than if you collapse into here, right? If you collapse into here, that means you're more kind of like in a bouncy position. It's, again, it's all on to you, how you want to move, what kind of things you want to set up, where you want to feel strong in your body. But it is a very important nuance. And for the heck of it, you should get good at doing both and see how it fits your boxing technique, your boxing style. Hopefully, uh, it changes your game or opens your mind up to more extremely technical nuances. I'm John from Exit Boxing, and I'll see you guys next time.